Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Ernest Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. And hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. There's a big ACC showdown on Saturday night in college football between the Miami Hurricanes, who had a disastrous performance last week, blowing the game against Georgia Tech on a terrible play call at the end of the game. But they're having to bounce back and travel on the road to the undefeated North Carolina Tar Heels. And me and Will and Dee preview and predict whether we think think that Miami can bounce back and get a big win over the North Carolina Tar Heels or whether Mac Brown can continue the Tar Heels hot streak and get North Carolina to 6-0 on the season and bowl eligibility with a win over Miami. This game right here, I've been waiting for this game. I've been waiting to talk about Miami and North Carolina because Miami, after the one of the biggest choke jobs in the history of college football against Georgia Tech, will Miami bounce back? and play better in this game against the North Carolina Tar Heels. It is very well possible. And I almost feel like that loss to Georgia Tech is bad for North Carolina because there is a chance that Miami shakes off that abysmal ending to that game. And really, the entire game was abysmal for Miami. And they'll come back around and play hard. I'm expecting that. I'm expecting Tyler Van Dyke to not throw as many picks as he did against Georgia Tech. I'm expecting the ground game for Miami to do better and their defense. But North Carolina, though, I've never – you know, even as a guy that lives in the state of North Carolina and is, is always like the Tarles, I, I've never trusted them in games because I've picked, like, I picked North Carolina to beat Notre Dame last year. Well, because of that, North Carolina was looking pretty good and Notre Dame had the, the bad losses to Marshall and Stanford. And what happened? Notre Dame beat North Carolina. So it's games like that that make me not trust North Carolina because they, in these bigger games, I wouldn't say they let people down or choke, but they just don't always perform that well in these bigger games. And that's why North Carolina is only favored by three and a half as well. The betting odds are not high on North Carolina. That's basically home spread, three points. Drake May has had a rough start to the season, but North Carolina's defense has been getting them by in most of these games. But Drake May finally woke up against Syracuse, had a massive game, 442 yards, three touchdowns. If he has a game like that against Miami, North Carolina will win this game. And it's at home. The crowd's going to be insane that night. So, and, and again, I know a lot of people say at night, it's not always a big difference. But I do still believe that when it's at night, that the home crowd is just a little bit better, to be honest. I just do. Something about it. Just even if it's just a little bit. So I think North Carolina's atmosphere is going to be insane. Omari and Hampton is a really good running back as well. He's been playing well. And the fact that North Carolina got Tez Walker back. The NCAA finally allowed Tez Walker, hashtag free Tez, to play. He should have always been able to play. Players have been transferred to three and four different schools, and they've been able to play. But for whatever reason, Tez Walker couldn't play. But he's able to play now. He adds to a good receiving core for the North Carolina Tar Heels. Even though, again, I do not trust North Carolina. I don't trust Miami more after what they did against Georgia Tech, even though I think they'll play better. I'm going to go with North Carolina to beat Miami 35-28. to 28. Why is Miami ranked? Air Force should be ranked ahead of they Miami. They should not be ranked. I agree. They should not be ranked. Yeah, I think that Carolina's defense picks off TBD three times. I'm going Tar Heels. I'm going with the Tar Heels, 38 to to 17. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's like Homer Sierra said, the crowd is always more intense tonight. That's what I believe. A lot of people say that it doesn't matter. That's why whenever I say it and someone says to me, oh, it doesn't matter whether it's during the day. Something about it at night is just different. So I agree 100%. So – yeah, I mean, Miami, I don't know why they're ranked. I get the brand Miami, but that was a terrible loss. Just absolutely terrible loss. And Jason Mack Brown is going to be dancing after this one, 28-20. I think North Carolina is going to get it done. Like I said, I don't trust the Tar Heels always, but this is the game that's going to prove whether they are, I guess you would say, legitimately a good team that has a shot to maybe be in the AC title race, get to the championship game possibly, who knows. This is going to be a big game. I'm going to go with North Carolina. I think they'll win. Yeah, Mac Brown's still going to be undefeated over Miami. Every year they beat Miami. That helps as well. Jason doesn't think much of the UNC crowd. Too much wine and cheese. I think Carolina's crowd's pretty good. I mean, is it a top 20 environment in college football? No, but it's still pretty solid. And they'll be hyped for this game. I think it's a pretty good environment. But, I mean, again, we're spoiled in college football with these great environments, man. Penn State, Michigan, Ohio State, A&M, Alabama. Etc. So many great environments. Notre Dame, Notre Dame Georgia. Night, 
Yeah. Florida. It's just so many insane environments. So even Clemson as well, LSU. So yeah, North Carolina is nowhere in that range, but it's still good. So, but I, I know what you mean. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think that the Miami Hurricanes will bounce back after that tough loss and be able to knock off the Tar Heels on the road or whether you think that the North Carolina Tar Heels will stay undefeated with a win over Miami and what you think about me and Will and pick for this big ACC matchup. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.